Welcome to today's video and it is character design. Let's get into it. So, so in the past I have created tons of characters. I have not made it onto any of my platforms. They're in this book and today I decided to, I was gonna make some, I'm gonna say creatures, characters that I can use in a lot of stuff. Like, it'll be like my Charlie Brown set. It'll be my own characters, because I plan on making short movies in the future with the characters in this book. We've got Jack Frost. Frank Forkson, along with Martin Muffin and Muffy Muffin in Berlin the Pup. The stick figure family with his stick figure farmer, stick figure daughter, Alyssa, and stick figure wife, Cindy. We've got Father Time. We've got Mother Nature. This is Herman the Slug. And that is his pet mouse, Larry. Now this is the Caveman family. That's Mrs. Caveman, Chris Caveman, Kathy Caveman, and Mr. Caveman. We also got Phil the Cat and the Caveman's pet, Rex. So, I'm going to be de designing my own human characters besides the cavemen people. And that is what we are going to be doing today. We are going to be making the very first character of this new series, kind of, series of characters, I guess. So, I know the first one. I have some ideas. I know the first one I want to name is Kaysen, and it's going to be a boy. And so... Let's just get into that. We've got our lovely book here. Yes, we're using this page. You know what time it is. It's time for character design. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so sorry for hear all these birds. They're pretty loud here. So the thing is, I had to figure out if I want to make it like a round head with like his ears. I also want to give him like a tall haircut, you know, kind of thing. Or if I kind of want to make it like give his face a little bit of definition. Because this is more like Charlie Brownish. So then this would be like that. I think, kind of really like that one. I mean, there's also more of like if you went with the tall hair and then you kind of made it like really kind of blocky i don't think i like that i think this is the one i like the best so i think i am gonna go with this that was a really quick decision holy cow okay and so then he'll be like this you know with his tall hair his little ears. Now it's just like the face, what I want to do. Um, these are like my standard like cartoon eyes that I tend to draw. Like the face and then the mouth. So how would that look on here? Like if he was like looking up. pretty cute. Definition, defini goodness me, definition in his hair. <laughs> and then like, you know, he'd probably have like a little shirt or something. I don't know. And his arms. I know this one's just kind of flying out, this character in design. I didn't draw five fingers, oops. Yeah, I didn't either there. I mean, that's not horrible. I mean, you have his pants, obviously. I do like this. This is what I would have to work on. 
And the thing is, I want them to be like this. Like, I don't want the clothing to be too hard or the hands. I mean, the face and the head is pretty easy. It's just like his clothing. And I want him to kind of have like something that's like iconic. Like his shirt. Like it is just for him. You know, like how Charlie Brown is the zigzag. I want like him to have like... Okay, camera cut out. I don't know what the heck I got, but I was think saying we can put like a number on here, like 44, if you know what that's from on YouTube. I'm proud of you, because it's from those sim those letters. Probably my favorite channel, 44 Club. <laughs> but I do like this shirt idea, so notice already I tend to like circle things as I like them I don't know why I do that I do that a lot I feel like this shirt is good but it's like the pants need to be like slightly longer or like if I am gonna do shorts then I have to do like legs and I feel like little skinny legs would be appropriate I don't know kind of like that and he's got like little arms in this big shirt. I kind of feel like that's that's what it is. His, it messed up his hands. But um, I like that idea. Baggier clothes and like a smaller kind of guy. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I think this is it. This outfit but obviously better you know with like the skinny legs and everything with his head i really like that design so i think that's what we're gonna go with okay, so i'm just testing out like colors i know that i want to give him like dark hair because he's gonna have a darker complexion what i like to do is base my characters off of real life people so if you watch crazy it's a crazy 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 middles crazy middles on youtube i can uh tag them down below they adopt a bunch of kids they're really really fun to watch but they have a little boy named kason who i just i don't know i felt like he was a good model for this character and so i did that cat are you serious right now Cinny. Oh my gosh. Sin. <laughs> and now she's just completely unguilty of ruining my video. Just chilling out, rolling in the grass. Little stink face. Okay. Anyway, I felt like he was a good model to go after. Just just felt like he was a good model so he, this case and will have a darker complexion and I am naming him after the kid I wasn't gonna name them like after the people I was gonna like kind of think of them after you know because that's how I do best in life I just I base it off of people I know obviously I can create my own and think of my own ways but I like whenever it's kind of thought to be someone that's what I do whenever I'm writing books, too. I write it after the people that I am, you know, that I know. I make my characters after that. So, you know, his, this will not be the best coloring because this is not the final, final product. But his coloring will be something like that. His complexion will be something like that. And, you know, you'll see his nose stand out and stuff, too, in the drawing. So, like, beep. I forgot his ears. But, you know, anyway, like, it, it'll be like that. And he'll have, like, brown eyes and stuff. But that's what that'll be. And for this, the number... I don't know. Do I want to make it, like, blue? Do I want to make the shirt blue? I'm thinking green, actually. I'm thinking green. Yeah. I think green would look really good. Like I said, this is not the final product, so this is not what this looks like. So, <laughs> and then like the number would look good with like purple, 
Mm, that kind of like bleeds a little bit. Maybe like a black. Black. Does that look key? Mm, I kind of like the black on it. And then probably just like denim colored shorts, you know? That's what I'm thinking. This is not denim, but you know, it's just to help get an idea of what I'm going to plan on doing there. Once I have like some exact colors set, that will be what I will write down in this book, you know, to keep on kind of on tab. So like whenever I make my own movies and stuff with these characters, like animated movies, I know exactly what colors to use so that the colors don't change a whole lot. I'm like right now, this is just um, art skills. <laughs> Paint markers, I mean, brush tip markers that I found at Dollar General for like four bucks. And I also have my Cali art, you know, more high-end expensive art markers, which I really like. So that's what I'm using here. But once I figure out colors, like I said, you'll, they'll be regulated throughout the character, you know, but this is just a general idea. I do plan on giving him I don't know, I think some brown eyes, but like I want them to be like light, light brown so that they stand out a lot. Did I use this color for his face? I think I did. I think I did. <laughs> um, what about this color brown? Because I don't want his eyes to like blend into his face. Okay, that one, that one looked good. Something like that, you know. And then his ears obviously so i used for his face y934 it looks kind of light but it comes off a little bit darker which you know is expected with these markers is this the one i used what is this one hold up i'm confused right now i am confusion so what's this Is this his face? This is his face. Okay, so never mind for face. I used Y948 in Cali Art. I thought I used a different one. I actually used Y948. That's why it makes sense as to why the color's not the same. But I still do like this Y423 for the eye. So this is the gist of Kaysen. And let's get my stand out of the way. Yeah, it's made out of pencils and strings, so I can film from above. Really crafty there, huh? But either later today or tomorrow, you will know in this video, I will make a final copy of what Kaysen will look like and what colors I will use and everything. It'll probably be a drawing. I mean, I was thinking painting, but the colors won't be the same then in the markers as compared to the paint. It'd be a variation. So probably a final drawing of what Kaysen will look like, and that will be one of our new characters, which is gonna be awesome. I do know that I wanna give him a sister in the future named Carly. Just gotta figure out that. But that'll be in a later, a later video on here. But we have our handsome Kaysen drawn. Let's get into a final product. All right, guys, here's your clue for the next video. If you can let me know down below what you think it is, do it. Do it. I'm excited for this one. Are you excited, Penny? Probably not. Day two. Let's get into the final drawing. <laughs> Fired up, y'all. Okay, so let, we're just, I'm just gonna do a little story time while I draw this final picture of Kaysen, okay? So, where I live, do not roll away from me, where I live, okay, I live in like the middle of four towns, all right? If I go straight out of my house, I can go to one town. If I go that way behind my house, I can go to a different town. If I take a right, it's a whole different town. And if you take a left, it's a whole different town, too. And I work in that town to the left. And for safety purposes, we're just going to change people's names and places. So I work in Beetleville, K. 
Okay, first thing that came to my head. All right, all right. So now, Beetleville has its own Facebook page for all of the members of Beetleville to be able to talk about lost animals and concerns and stuff like that. Got it? So on this Beetleville Facebook page, there is this old guy. We're going to call him, like, Jack, okay? Jack, all right? Not his real name at all, but that's what we're going to call him. Jack likes to share pictures that he just, like, takes photos, like, on his canoe trips and stuff, you know, he sees a bunch of wildlife, all that, all good fun, you know, nothing wrong with that whatsoever, he just likes to share it. Well, today, he posted a photo of a bear that was at his house. Now, mind you, Jack does not live in Beetleville, okay? He lives a town, so 20 minutes to a half an hour away from Beetleville, we're going to call it Linus Town, okay? So, Jack lives in Linus Town, all right? Hope you're understanding the story so far. And even though Jack lives in Linus Town, he is still allowed to post on the Beetleville page because he's part of it. Totally, totally fine. Not a big problem with it. Well, there's this guy on the Beetleville f Facebook page that felt the need to be a complete jerk to Jack. So we're going to call this guy Tim. Okay? So Jack posted the photos of bear that were of a bear that were taken in did I say Linus Town? Linus Town, okay? Not Beetleville. And so Tim had to go on and start freaking out on Jack on this, you know, Beetleville Facebook page about how he can't be posting on here because, you know, he's not from Beetleville and he doesn't live in Beetleville and all of this stuff. And he was just being super, super nasty to Jack. Okay? And Jack posts photos all the time on the Beetleville page. Alright? This is what he does. He loves to do that. Okay? So, after this tin guy was being a really big jerk to Jack, like, on Facebook, a whole lot on this page about a picture of a bear. A picture of a bear! Okay? Okay? I decided, I'm gonna say something because I was bullied growing up horribly. We'll get into that later, you know. I can make a video on that later if you guys want it. Leave a like down below if you want that. But anyways, I was bullied horribly, so I do not like seeing other people being made fun of or get bullied because it's just, it's not a right thing. And I know how it feels to have somebody be horribly, horribly mean to you. So I decided to jump in because I was like, you know what, this is just crap. Nobody needs to hear this or nobody needs to be taking it. So I started talking about how bears can travel up to 15 miles away, you know, in a day. He could come up here to where we are, all that kind of stuff. And this Tim guy starts firing back at me. That does not make me happy because this Tim guy doesn't even live in Beetleville. He's complaining about how this bear is not from Beetleville. And how it should not be posted on this Beetleville page. Yet he doesn't even live in Beetleville. I'm sorry, Penny. I know I'm yelling. Okay? I said I was fired up. I said I was. Thank you for being such a concerned puppy. Thank you. And so, like, what kind of gave this guy the idea to start being a complete jerk to someone else about posting it on that page? Whenever he is not even from... He doesn't even live in the town that is posted in. That just does not make any sense to me. And so, you know, things got settled down and taken care of. The guy was like, uh, Tim was removed from like, the, the chat and everything, like the thread and all that. But um, I just, I got fired up. Like, there's no need to be mean over a picture of a bear. I mean, there's no need to be mean in general. But, like, it's a picture of a bear why are you so mad about something especially if you don't even live in that town like you're not you don't live in my town it specifically says on his facebook page that he does not live in beetleville so yeah it might sound like a silly story or something but there's no need to be mean what's the point of being mean over a picture of a bear if you don't even live in that town like, you're going to complain about it being on the Beetleville Facebook page because it's not from Beetleville. 
and you don't even live in Beetleville. I don't know. I didn't get that. All I got drawn during that whole rant because I was so angry was just his head. <laughs> so I'm going to keep going. And I'll <laughs> it has been a day, okay? It's been a day. I'm just going to keep going now and add on to him, and then we'll get into the colors, coloring part. I'm just going to sketch out the rest of them, and we'll go from there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. drawing. I'm not too happy with this arm. I can't get it to work out right, so I might just leave it. Okay, so I'm going to get into uh, outlining. Where is it? Here, with this. And then it goes into the color of this and these. So, and maybe some paint. I've been using some paint. I know this is like, when you clicked on this video, this is not what you thought you'd be getting. So, I hope you enjoy this because... This is just, this, this is just, this is just how the day is that I chose to film on, so. And yes, I am at a kid, kid's table. Kitty table, kid's table. What it is! <laughs> Now, I never said, hey, Siri, why are you, why are you doing that? Now, let's get into some colors. Um, just gotta figure out what I want. Like, I know that I want, like, some sort of green for his shirt. I think the 44 Club should be, I don't know, maybe, like, a black? An orange could be cool though too. I think maybe orange. Now those are the same color orange. They might be. Oh, I think I have a neon orange right here. Yeah, that would be really cool. So I think I'm gonna do that. Orange with, I mean, green shirt with orange 44 club on it. And. <laughs> I don't know what color pants. I think I have more markers here somewhere. I just don't know where. Also, we never discussed shoe color either. So that's a whole nother thing to think about. For his skin color, it's Y948, which is... Y948, none of these say Y948. Y976, Y934, Y648? Is that what I meant? Y423, which Y423 is his eye color. This one. But there is no Y948, so why did I write Y948? I mean, this one says Y762. What the heck did I mean by this? Okay, so. Now that I have most of my colors picked out, I'm gonna bring you guys in closer so you can understand what is happening. Cause I feel like this, the camera is a little bit too far away to see. I also just realized I don't have a color for his shoes or the name up top. So this part is like, you know, pretty explanatory of what's happening here. I'm just going to color in, you know, his eyes are that color. His skin is this color. This is what I decided on his pants. 
Uh, this is for the 44 on his shirt. His shirt's gonna be one of these two colors. Can't decide which one yet. This is to also mix with the shorts. I'm gonna make it two different colors. I'll probably write somewhere, probably in the book over here of what colors I used exactly. So in the future, I know. And I'm gonna do it right, not mess up like I did. Where I wrote Y948 instead of Y648. That's what that says, right? Yeah. Y648, and I was a ding dong and wrote it wrong. And then it's also this. And then I got to figure out shoe color. I'm thinking purple, but I don't know. So, and then the name I gotta color in too. So I gotta figure that stuff out, but I just wanna get into coloring. It'll make more sense then, I guess. So. I can't have decided it also wanted to make me upset today and stopped filming but this is how far I've gotten so far and I also realized that I did not put out a color for like his mouth and his hair his heart his hair will probably be like some dark color just because I want to that's how I you know I'm going off that one kid like it's based off of somebody and that's what his hair color is and for the mouth, I'm probably just gonna do like a really light pink color, I believe. So I'm gonna keep going because this should work now. Today's just, it's just not my day today. It's just not my day in mood wise, you know. I can obviously help make it better. It's just, you know, whenever people aren't nice, it, it makes me upset, so. <laughs> You know, and then the camera, which is my own fault, stopped working. But, you know, we we'll move past it. Let's just keep going. Get this colored. <laughs> okay, I've decided I don't like that mouth with the color in it. It's just too pink for me, I guess. So I'm gonna actually probably make it black. If I can find a black marker, because I think this one's dead. Maybe it's not. Nope, it's not. I thought it didn't work anymore, but it works. M I mean, maybe in a different drawing, he'll end up having a pink mouth, but I just, I'm not vibing with it right now, you know? We need another color black. This is not, well, maybe it will cover it all. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I kind of like that better. I don't know. Just vote down below what you like better. Pink or black. I'll decide, you know, this is just a gist of what he's going to look like, you know. Okay, let's get back into the coloring more. So I did decide on a shoe color. You can see they are purple, like I said. It's this one in Cali Art. If you guys have this Cali Art pack off of Amazon, you, then you know what colors I'm using. It's R826. Whoa, you know, pretty color. And I thought it was just, you know, I don't know. It just felt right to do purple shoes with an orange and green shirt. So I'm going to do his hair now. And then for the name, I got to figure that out. You'll see whatever I choose. It'll probably be different colors or something. I don't know. You'll see what I choose. So let's keep, let's do this part and this part next. wanted to make the S the same color green as the shirt, but I dropped it on the N. So now I gotta make the N this green. So, oh well. I'll probably just make the S like this purple, like his shoes, and then use one of the blues or something. But I wanted the S to be green. Oh well. It's okay. Still make it, well, still, what? I'll still make it work. <laughs> Oh man. And this 
signature. I almost forgot my name. <laughs> that, oh boy, okay. This Sharpie does not want to work. And what's the date? July 28th. Oh, come on. So I know exactly whenever he was created. So there he is. I might make the notes here of what colors he is or probably in this book where we did the design the other day, you know. So we'll be in one of those two. But here is our casein for this first character design. Now, I did want to say that obviously this, you know, design, ooh, that looks kind of cool. This design <laughs> could change. I mean, Mickey Mouse, whenever Walt Disney created Mickey Mouse, it was not Mickey Mouse. It was Steamboat Willie. And then there was about, it was Steamboat Willie and then two other designs. And then it was the Mickey Mouse that we know and all love now. So I'm just saying I'm not Walt Disney. I didn't create Mickey Mouse, but even though this is what he looks like now, he could evolve into a different kind of character. I mean, he could be more rounder. You know, I could end up drawing all my characters more rounder or, you know, just things like that. They could go in a direction of Charlie Brown is what I mean. They, they might not look like this exactly, but this is just a first idea. And I do really love how he turned out. And so thank you guys very much for watching this. I know this is a bit of a roller coaster of a ride to be on. Um, it's been for me. So I hope that you did like this whole video. <laughs> also, I want to see your guys' art like really, really bad. So just use this hashtag written on the screen right here. And just show me your art. I really want to see what they look like. It could be things that, you know, you've done after following a video of mine. Or it could just be things that you've just drawn or painted or photographed or sculpted or anything. Because I just want to see it all. And I might use it in a future video if I, you know, redo my followers' artwork, my subscribers' artwork. So do use that hashtag because I want to see some of it. And also just... Remember to spread the love, you know, after after today. Just be sure to spread the love, you know. I mean, maybe that's what I'll call you guys. The Spread the Love Club. That's your guys' name now. So join the Spread the Love Club. <laughs> and hit the subscribe button. And also, you know, like this video if you want to um, hear more about that bullying stuff I was talking about earlier. All right, Instagram right here for everybody if you want to go see my instagram i share stuff that's not in these videos you know um and i'll also put like facebook here if you want to go do the same thing because i share other stuff there that is not on instagram so every every platform has a different thing mostly so <laughs> go check them out though yeah and i realized i forgot one other thing that i wanted to add on two casein this is a completely random clip of the video but i wanted to write on his shirt club the 44 club for how ridiculous all right guys <laughs> stay safe Spread love, please, please, please. I don't like any more of this hatred and negativity in this world. And just be nice to everybody, okay? Rock on, guys. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>